Vito, welcome to Reading Football Club. Welcome to our training camp uh, here in Holland. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, I'm delighted to be here. And uh, obviously, we had the first session today, so uh, good to know a little bit about the uh, goalkeeper and coach David Besant and um, uh, the guys here, the other goalies. And uh, met a few of the boys and uh, coaching staff this morning. We had a good win uh, already at, the, at tennis against the staff, coaching staff, so I'm, uh, I'm delightful. Well, talk us through that. I mean, they didn't waste time getting involved in the, in the head tennis. It's a pretty competitive group, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, well, uh, since the breakfast, they told me it was uh, uh, something very serious. and. Uh, but yeah, I needed to start on a good foot and uh, thankfully we did and uh, we beat uh, obviously the manager and uh, all the coaching staff uh, today. Yeah, you probably upset them a little bit, but I'm sure they'll, they'll forgive you soon. If, uh, but you've, um, as you said, you've met a couple of the lads. Did you know anyone here already? I, I saw you talking to Paul McShane. I think you knew him from Hull. Maybe Stephen Quinn too? Uh, I'm Paul McShane, yeah. Uh, I think uh, Quinny was already the day after I left. So, um, no, Paul McShane and... Uh, one of the physios uh, was at Arsenal with me, so okay. it's nice to see nice familiar faces and uh, somebody who can introduce me to the group. And uh, but I can see already the it's a very special group of uh, of players and uh, good guys. I know you had a, a really good time at Sunderland. You're very popular with it with the supporters there. So probably not a dis easy decision, even though you're happy to be here. Not an easy decision to leave. Yeah, well, it's um, it's football. Uh, you leave one place where you. You have a lot of memories, and uh, uh, as I posted yesterday on Instagram, I was always be thankful and uh, grateful to uh, the Sunderland fans and uh, the Sunderland family. I mean, let me uh, feel and uh, live uh, my life in the in the past four years. Uh, I grew there, so uh, as a man, as a person, as a footballer. So uh, a chapter is closed, but. Uh, I'm into a new one and I'm so excited to uh, to start this one and I already started this morning. Uh, I just want to know the guys and uh, get going and uh, hopefully push for the promotion, to be honest. And how quick was the process of the transfer here? Did you learn about Reading's interest a little while ago? Is it something that happened really quickly? How, how did it come about? Well, it was uh, something suspended uh, until the end, so it was a... Uh, uh, a rush move. Uh, uh, actually, gave me the final call at uh, seven o'clock. Uh, <laughs> actually, two days ago. So at seven o'clock, they told me I had a flight at eight fifteen. So <laughs> I had to pack my bag and uh, rush to the airport and um, go to Reading. I had my medical and uh, signed my contract yesterday. It was a long day yesterday and the traveling. Uh, obviously, yesterday night I arrived uh, late on here in uh, uh, in Holland. So. I'm, uh, as I said, I'm uh, so excited to, to be starting this new adventure uh, for me, for my family, and uh, obviously I can see it's a lot of uh, good ambitions in the in the club, uh, and uh, that's the main thing for me, uh, coming to a club and uh, hopefully do my best and work as hard as I can to help the team get promoted. Yeah, you uh, you mentioned the kind of the long day yesterday, and uh, I guess you know you come quite late in the, in the tour really, but I suppose you you know. Despite only having a few days here, you already you wanted to come and, and be part of, of what's going on here. And I understand it's not your first pre-season this season, if you like. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my third one, so it's uh, uh, it's tough. But at the same time, it's uh, uh, it's everything I was waiting for. Um, a club who really, you know, really wanted me here, and uh, and uh, they want to push forward. So. As I said, everything uh, I've seen so far has been brilliant. Uh, uh, obviously, I met part of the uh, directors and the director of football and everyone uh, involved with the club, and uh, uh, they show me a great potential. And the club is uh, is going forward. And uh, you were unlucky last year not to make it, but uh, uh, we go again this season, and hopefully, I can uh, you know give my help to the team. Yeah. And, and tell us a bit about those pre-seasons then. You were away, was it Austria, is that in that right? Yeah, and yeah. Scotland as well? Yeah, we done Austria three sessions a day for a week and uh, then uh, we didn't actually rest one day. So we, we left straight away to, to Scotland. We played a few games there and uh, double training session again. And uh, this is my third one. So <laughs> uh, again, I'm going to put everything in and be ready for the season because yeah. it's uh, around the corner. Um, and I guess we, we need to gel now. Uh, 
I need to get to know the boys as soon as possible uh, to let it work on the pitch. Mm. As you say, you know, you've you kind of uh, you joined the group and you, you've worked today with the with the young goalkeepers uh, and we've got Ansi Akola here and things. I'm sure you know as much as you want to push that number one jersey. You're also going to have a little bit of competition there too to, to, to keep keep you on your toes. But you're probably feeling in good shape to, to give it a good go. Yeah, yeah, it's always nice. Every every club I went to, so I always found competition. So it's our it's our job really. It's, uh, as a goalkeeper, you need to know that uh, it's uh, three or four of us going for that. So. Uh, um, as I said, I'm delighted to be here and uh, I want to push forward and, uh, you know, do my part and play uh, play football and, uh, you know, as I said, be part of this uh, special club that showed me a great potential so far. And, and Yapstam too, he, he knows what he wants from his goalkeepers, he likes them to be involved, you know, in the play in, in general, you know, they get lots of touches, they're all going to be good at distribution, hopefully that suits your style as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, um, well, I'm, uh, I had a mixed... Uh, feelings in the past few years uh, I started with Arsenal where you needed to do that, to do that. Uh, as a goalie you obviously Arsenal Wenger the, the Arsenal mentality makes you want to play from the back uh, then I, I had mixed uh, uh, coaching theories in uh, in Sunderland where somebody wanted to, <laughs> to kick me up and uh, somebody wanted me to play we had you know Poyet, Hallardyce, different styles and uh, uh, Moyes last year and uh, the advocate so I had a few managers in a uh, few managers in the in the four past 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 years. So in, again, I'm uh, it's just uh, a fact of adaptation. I think uh, you need to adapt to the to the game, and uh, I like to play with my feet and from the back. So I'm. Uh, uh, it's great for me to to mould into that. Mm. It's nice too that you've had those different experiences, and you kind of do bring a lot of experience as, as a goalkeeper. Now you know you want to you, you can become the senior the senior keeper if you like, and and those experiences can only help you when those competitive games start in a couple of weeks. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, what I learn uh, along my journey uh, will give me the chance to um, you know have a good season um, and obviously give. Uh, all I can from my side and uh, as well learn at the same time you never stop learning I always believe that you can be 45 but still learning and uh, you know I just want to learn from uh, a different coach and uh, what he wants from me and uh, uh, the team as well I um, had the chance to watch some uh, highlights and games last year and uh, uh, I've been playing special football nice football so uh, it's going to be great for me to, to be part of that. And lastly, Vito, uh, we're kind of building towards the the, the first of our uh, the next lot of uh, friendly games, if you like. We're going to be playing on Saturday against. Uh, we've got two games in one day. The groups will be split, I'm sure, and I'm sure you'll want to be involved in that and, and getting the gloves on. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm uh, here. I'm ready, uh, ready to go. So uh, I put all the work, hard work, uh, uh, in the past three weeks uh, to be ready at this moment in time and. Uh, Obviously, as soon as I get to know the the guys and the, as I said, the way of football and uh, starting to join with them and uh, join join the sessions and join the games is uh, the better it is because we only two weeks uh, over two weeks uh, from, from the the special game uh, against KPR. Thanks for your time, Victor. Okay. Welcome to the club. Thank you.